video we're going to look at a couple of theories for the chemical building blocks of life. We're going to talk about the building blocks, talk about a couple of theories of an earthly origin and one of a cosmic origin. So in a previous video we've talked about the chemical building blocks of life such as amino acids, nucleic acids and saccharides, monosaccharides. Uh, the, but the big question is where were these first organic compounds first formed? Now there's basically two schools of thought on this. One is that they were formed here on the earth and the other is that they were formed in outer space. So firstly, the idea that these organic compounds were formed on the earth was first put forward separately by Operin and Haldane uh, in the 1920s. And they basically stated that the atmosphere had all the elements that were needed to create these organic compounds. And through energy input, through lightning storms and cosmic radiation, uh, these chemicals could split apart and come together to form these organic compounds, which then would dissolve into the oceans uh, in a prebiotic soup, uh, which eventually would go to form cells and the very first forms of life. It wasn't until 1952 that Yuri and Miller tested this hypothesis, and what they did is they created an apparatus where they simulated the water cycle acting on the early atmosphere. And in this they used ammonia, methane and hydrogen in their early atmosphere, but experiments that have been done in a similar way since then have used other chemicals in the atmosphere and produced some more complicated amino acids. Another theory is that these chemical organic chemical compounds were formed deep in the ocean around the hydrothermal vents or black smokers. So these uh, black smokers basically release uh, hot water that has been dissolved through the rock and in the magma uh, at the bottom of the ocean and they release that back into the ocean with a whole heap of uh, dissolved nutrients that come from those rocks. Now these are very hot uh, but a bit further away from the actual smoker itself, but not so far that it's freezing cold, being at the bottom of the ocean, uh, is an area where it's possible that these sorts of chemical reactions can happen with the nutrient-rich water to produce uh, these organic compounds. The other school of thought is that these compounds are formed in out of space and came to Earth on the meteorites. Now, we've spoken already that meteorites uh, used to constantly bombard the Earth and the atmosphere was much thinner than it is today. So these days when a meteor hits the atmosphere, generally they either burn up completely or most of them burns up before they get right down to the Earth. Uh, but in the early Earth, uh, the atmosphere was too thin to burn them up and they were much more likely to get all the way down to the Earth. And these uh, meteorites came with the first water crystals, uh, but also could have had uh, these organic compounds on them dissolved in the water. And we've actually found uh, certain meteorites uh, called carbonaceous chondrites, uh, which actually have organic molecules such as amino acids inside them. And these amino acids have also been found on the Moon and Mars. Uh, probably from meteorites hitting those two bodies as well. Now, we're not sure as to where they're actually formed. Uh, these could be formed in on the meteorite uh, due to solar radiation or perhaps on another planet that's exploded somewhere else in the solar system. And there's actually, uh, and it's a bit up to debate, uh, but there is some evidence to show that uh, bacteria, microscopic organisms, uh, fossilised remains have been found in some meteorites and on Mars. In this video we've looked at a couple of the different theories on where the chemical building blocks for life came from 
Uh, firstly, the earthly origin, first put forward by Operin and, Operin and Haldane and supported by the Uri Miller experiment, uh, as well as uh, around black smokers, which is another possible site for uh, these building blocks to be formed on Earth, as well as the cosmic origin that these uh, building blocks, such as amino acids, came or hitched a ride on meteors and came to Earth that way.